G'day, my name's Chris Henry, and I'm about to show you how to go micro-jigging for tropical species. Oh, rail me. So to work quick off, get it off the bottom, but I'm not sure what that is. Oh, nice trout, beautiful. And that was it. In the northern waters, these cold trout are probably one of the most sought after table fish. And just a whack on a jig and work it like that. Get a couple of these, get a bag of fish, feed the family. The setup I'm using today is the Oshia Jigger 1500 PG matched with the PE4 Max Oshia Jigger rod. The line I'm using is the Oshia P 3 running down to an FG knot connecting to 60 pound litre. Now the jigs I'm using are the sardine waver and the pebble stick, ranging from 80 grams all the way up to about 120 grams in the depth of water that we're fishing today. Now when we rock up to an area like this, it's always crucial to spend a bit of time sounding around and making sure you're looking for the fish on your sounder, checking out the contours of the headlands and making sure you're not wasting too much time fishing waters that don't have any fish in it. Jigging's like any other sort of bottom bashing. You just thumb your spool while you're feeding back the jig. There we go, we're on the bottom now. Jig's on the bottom. I'm just gonna work it up, short, sharp jigs, keeping a low rod angle. We're only working the bottom section of the water column. So when you do hook up, you basically crank straight away and you rip into it. And you keep a low rod angle while you're fighting the fish. We're keeping it low like that. We've got more leverage with a lower rod angle like that and we can lift them straight off the bottom. You've got to get them away from their home, otherwise they're going to do you in no time. Oh, there we go. Get him up quick. Off the bottom. Now, one of the more important things when you're connecting your jig to your leader is to tie to the solid ring, not the split ring. Now, not only is it less points of failure for when you're fighting the fish, it's also when you want to change your jig and put on a different size, you change via the split ring. So all this rock continues down into the water and there's boulders all across the side of it. Now all those boulders are where the trout are going to be hanging. So with the current we're drifting along, there's trout will be sitting behind those boulders and we're just jigging that jig across the front of all of those rocks. Oh, here we go. Yep, oh, there's a good fish. I'll get him up off the bottom. Oh. Quick short cranks. Oh, he's away from the bottom. I think that's a good fish. If they're going to do ya, it's going to be in the first couple of seconds of the fight. Oh, have a look at that. Let's get this guy in, give you a quick look. Oh, beautiful trout. That's as good as it gets. You had that 100 gram sardine waver, perfect. Now there we go. Beautiful coral trout, perfect target for the micro jig. And if you're after a table fish up north, it doesn't get much better. 